Ah. What's up, YouTube? Second little video of me talking about our little Etsy journey. And in this video, I just want to talk about three little tips or pointers ah. I got back here that can help you succeed on Etsy, whether you've been selling for a while or you've just started or you're thinking about starting. And ah. even if you're not selling Etsy, I, I think these three things can kind of help with any aspects of business or anything like that. So, should we get into it? I think he's excited. So the first one, the main one, I think is consistency. It is being consistent and working at it every single day. I've noticed with our business and other people that I've seen start businesses that if you are consistent, it'll continue to grow and improve. If you're consistent at the beginning and then you kind of fade off, it will fade off as well. So I kind of wanted to show you some graphs of our first month and then just kind of go month to month a little bit and kind of show you our start with Etsy. So we started in May of 2016. So May 2016, I don't know how well this will show up, but this is our first month. So our first month we did 41 orders, we did $684, and this is kind of the month. So we started out with looks like two orders and then a couple days later so let me see if I can hover with my mouse so on this first day we did two orders and we did fifty dollars May 3rd so two days after we kinda launched we had our first two sales and then we didn't have another sale until May 10th and then we had two more on that day and you can see this kinda spread out again but we were still doing stuff to make it so we were growing and growing and then it was consistent and then I'll show you last month so two years later last month this is kinda what it looked like so this is the consistency of December and these days are a lot bigger than the other days so this day we did 24 sales 19 this big day we did 43 sales a thousand dollars in one day that was our big goal for this December was to hit that thousand dollar mark so we were pretty pumped and you can tell that it kind of dies down after Christmas ah! but this month we are still doing pretty good sorry about Beck Kayla's with Ellie and I just wanted to film this because I was too excited to wait but we're still consistently getting sales each day because we do little things each and every day and one of those little things that helped us when we started was messaging people because if you have a product and no one knows about that product you're not going to sell any of that product and so what you got to do is you got to tell people about your product and that you exist and so one of the ways that we have found success early on was messaging people on Etsy because they're already shopping on Etsy about our product and so how do we find those people is we would search for people that were looking for onesies so we type in onesie or pregnancy announcement in the search on Etsy and you go to other people's listings and you click on them and they show how many times they've been favorited so let me see if I can do that right here for you guys so if I type in pregnancy announcement okay let me flip this around for you guys it shows a ton of pregnancy announcements. So I'll just go to this first one. It's a Valentine's one. And you see right here, it says 18 people have this in their cart and 258 people have favorited it. So you click on the people and it shows you a list of all the people that have favorited it. And what I would do is I'd click on every single one, not every, not all 200, but mainly the first couple pages of people and I'd hit contact. <laughs> And I'd personally write them all a message with a coupon code and just say, hey, we see you're looking at pregnancy announcements. We'd love if you could check us out. And we could, we would be able to track to see if it worked because they would use the coupon code and it would be able to kind of track if that was working. And that's how we got our sales kind of going and moving and people hearing about us. So that's our first tip is consistency, is consistently doing something every day to get going whether that's messaging people putting a new product on your page posting on Instagram Facebook just make sure you're doing it every single day and just being consistent because 
it took us a while to get moving and going. You saw we had a gap of a week or two weeks without sales. And then it started becoming consistent, at least getting sales, because we were consistently working on the business. All right, so tip number two is kind of with tip number one. Hold on, let me get this baby some toys. Ooh. All right, the baby's got some toys now. So he's he's a happy baby. Are you a happy baby? You're a happy baby, huh? Do you see yourself? All right, so kind of my, my second tip that has to go with consistency is consistently add items to your shop. So when we first started going, we only had like one or two listings within our shop. And that's kind of hard for people to find you because you only have one or two ways for them to find you on all of Etsy. And so we reached out, I messaged a ton of big shops on Etsy and I asked for their input on how to grow. And one of them actually responded, which is pretty cool. Because I love the, the mantra, you miss every shot you don't take. So I took a lot of shots and I made one of them. And she said, you need to get more listings. And I think at the time we had seven or 10 or 14 or so. And from there, we were able to grow our listings. So when we were in Christmas time, we had over 100 listings. And what that is is just, so this is our shop. And these are all of our listings. So it's different styles of onesies, uh, different items, different ways people could buy. They could either buy the grandpa or the one with moccasins. We separated them so it shows up more often. So right now with our Christmas taken off of our shop, we have 78 listings that people can find us at. And so that has been really huge for us as we continue to make new products and continue to upload them onto Etsy, then people can find us more often. And so we, let me pull this up again. So our stats from, Etsy's pretty cool because it shows you a ton of stats and everything. So last, so this month we've done 137 orders and $2,600. And we've had 9,400 views and 4,000 visits. This is people. We've had 4,000 people come to our shop and our listings and stuff. What's cool with Etsy is you can compare it to last year. And so last year we did, we had 1,500 people come to our shop this far into January. So because of the more people, we've seen a growth in our sales from $1,000 at this point last year to two point. 2600 in this month so far just from getting more products out there messaging people and being around for a long enough time and kind of building that rep reputation and stuff like that so those are my first two little tips my third tip is getting reviews I know for me if a product has bad or no reviews I probably won't buy it and I know you guys are probably the same so how we got reviews on Etsy is at the beginning and still now sometimes if you go to your sales you can message the people that have bought and you could say hey and it shows if it's delivered or not and you can say hey we saw you got your order we'd love if you left as a review let us know if everything's fine and then you just send all the people that ordered that message and then you'd start getting reviews and more reviews and more reviews so right now our shop we're over a thousand reviews we have 1,133, and over a 1,000 of those are five star. Only a couple are four. I think we have like one or two, three stars, one one star, and like one two star for just like little mistakes or errors on, excuse me, on our part. And so I say those are my three little tips on how to either get more sales or get your first sale is one, you gotta be consistent and you gotta reach out to people to let them know about your product. You can't just pray and hope that they'll come out of nowhere to find you. Two is continue to post to your shop. Continue to post new listings and updates and everything that it will continue to grow and you'll be more relevant on Etsy. And three is you gotta get those reviews and how to get them is messaging the people that have bought from your shop. Because they can't leave a review unless, unless they've bought from your shop. Let's see if Beck... Beck, do you have any last words of wisdom for people selling on Etsy? What would you like to say? Um, 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 have, um. Anything else? 
All right. You guys heard it here. Those are our three tips plus Beck's little tip. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe so we can share more and you can be up to date on when we post new videos. I'm going to try to post as much as I can. I have a ton of ideas, but I don't want to overwhelm you guys. Uh, on our Instagrams, we are getting questions for a Q&A. So feel free to give us some questions there for an upcoming video answering your questions on what you're wondering about our shop. So we love you guys. Have a great day.